What's up everyone, this is Max Red. For today's Cubase Quick Tips, we're covering project zones and how to navigate them while working in Cubase 12. So let's get started. The layout for Cubase projects is made up of four zones. The left zone, which includes the track inspector and visibility options. And those include individual track routing like sends, inserts, and the strip channel. The right zone will house your VST instruments, your media bay, control room, and your loudness meter. In the center, we have the main project zone. Click on any audio event and you will see the information bar right above it. To display our lower zone, also called the editor zone, we can click on the icon to open it up. The editor zone includes your mix console, editor, sampler control, chord pads, and MIDI remote mapping. You can click the X to hide the lower zone. Rather than clicking on the tabs to show and hide the different zones, you can use key commands, such as Command Option L, which shows and hides the left zone, Command Option R controls the right zone, and Command Option E shows and hides the editor zone. Let's open up the left zone, and then we can use Tab on our computer keyboard to navigate between all four zones. Within each zone, we can type in command option and either left or right arrow to scroll through the tabs within that zone. We would simply use that method if we wanted to reach the MIDI editor on a particular track. Let's say on this Helion 6 track. We can then use the tab again and it'll jump to our right zone. Then we can cycle through the right zone using the arrow keys along with command option. Our lower zone can also be detached. Click to display the toolbar and then click the arrow and the mix console will open up in a new window. Here I have it already separated and on a different monitor but I can drag it down. And of course, you can view the inserts, strip channel, and sends a little bit better than you can in the lower zone. The detached mix console displays a few more commands than the normal view. That's it for today. I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment or a like to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.